I helped a friend a lot during her tough times. With all her issues as a close confidant, helping de-stress substantially. I was also her husband's agony aunt, but while they shared their frustrations separately and never leaked a word about each one's view to the other. She now claims that she felt I spoke to her in a sarcastic way. Suddenly, her husband also says that they need their own space. I'm not able to deal with this. Any advice? Long question. There are several pieces over here which need to be dealt with individually. So this answer may take a little longer than normal. <clears throat> See, firstly, you say you helped your friend. When you help somebody, the energy of helping is always about one person being superior and the other person needing the help being inferior to them. And that sets up its own alienation, which comes home to roost at some point, which is what I say is one of the elements of what has happened in this case. So she says she feels that uh, you were sarcastic, uh, but essentially what she felt was the energy where you were you know, you had this feeling that, hey, look, I'm able to help you. And she has reacted to it in that particular manner. That is one positive, you know, strength. One of the threads that is weaving this entire tapestry. The second bit is, when the husband and the wife have a lot of divergent opinions, what has happened to you is that you were in the unique position where each one of them saw you as a confidant. So each one shared their frustrations with you. And fine, you did whatever you did in a very uh, ethical manner. You listened to both of them. You gave them their feeling of comfort and you did not, you know, do any cross pollination, etc., which is beautiful. But the point is they have probably got together right now. And whenever you get together, it is normal to think of a common enemy. And who better for that than the one person whom both of them talked to earlier? It's very easy for them to say, oh, you know, I spoke to her like this and she never said, uh, no, you're wrong. And the other person can say, I also spoke to her like this about you and she did not say I was wrong. Now, from your perspective, you are basically listening to both of them and only talking to, them in, talk, talking to them in the context in which they were talking. But now that they've got together, they can easily reclassify that in this manner. That is also probably, albeit subtly, something that is waving this tapestry. All I would advise you is this. Simply understand and accept that their time in your life is over from I mean it would probably be easier if you were to look at it as your time in their, their life is probably over either temporarily or permanently it doesn't matter but they needed you to be in their life at that particular point and now that their circumstances have changed you are not needed anymore so once you understand that you may then feel a little bad feel like you've been used and you've been thrown away but then understand this also, your, I mean, their time in your life is over as well. They are not needed for you to feel good about yourself anymore. They were an opportunity where you could do some good. You did it. They are fine. They are happy. Now they are independent. Let them go. Try to transform this in terms of something that helps you move ahead in your life. You don't need the artificial crutch of somebody who is in trouble to give the world the goodness that you have. Now you are in a position to give off your goodness to everybody in the world. So take this as a progression in your life and you'll be fine.